The experiment that the snow team accomplished that led to the Nobel Prize could only have occurred under the conditions that still exist today at our underground laboratory, Snow Lab. I'm very pleased to welcome the world's particle astrophysics community to come to Canada, to work at Snow Lab, and to interact with the wonderful team that comes together through our new institute. Welcome to Canada, and welcome to some great science. Particle astrophysics is the study of the basic building blocks of nature. It explores the fundamental properties of the universe. Dark matter is the glue that holds galaxies together, and without it, the galaxies would spiral apart. Canada's Snow Lab is an underground science laboratory. This world-class facility is located two kilometers below the surface of the Earth. And because it is located underground, it is shielded from cosmic radiation. In 2015, Dr. Arthur McDonald and Japanese scientist Dr. Takaaki Kajita won the Nobel Prize for Physics. It has been said that behind every success, there is effort. Behind the effort, there is passion. Behind the passion, there are people with the courage to try. Queen's University and its partners are spearheading the creation for the Arthur B. Macdonald Canadian Astroparticle Physics Research Institute to galvanize the physics community towards the next big discovery and exploit the possibilities for research. The Macdonald Institute is creating 100 new research positions, including 14 faculty, to continue the Canadian tradition of physics excellence. The study of physics fuels some of the fastest growing industries in Canada. Our physics grads in Canada go on to careers in research and innovation, big data analytics and artificial intelligence, film and animation, aerospace engineering, and they are transforming the financial and natural resources sectors. Physics fuels the latest in technology innovation and is producing highly trained talent for these sectors in Canada. The nature of dark matter, the, the ultimate fate of the universe, why we live in a universe that's made of matter instead of antimatter, all of these things we don't have answers for yet. And yet, tantalizingly, we have the wherewithal now to start exploring those questions and trying to answer them. It's happening now. 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 It's happening now.